Hey guys, let's get more news about Lakers, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. Lakers Injury Report, LA given huge update on crucial role player status for matchup versus 76ers. The Los Angeles Lakers have been dealing with all sorts of injuries this season, seeing multiple players be in and out of the lineup. It has hurt the team in the standings, but there is some hope for a few of their currently hurt players. According to Lakers head coach Darvin Ham, Los Angeles could be getting back a big piece to the puzzle against the Philadelphia 76ers on Friday. Forward Cam Reddish practiced on Wednesday and is expected to be available to play against Philadelphia. Reddish has only appeared in 40 games for Los Angeles this season but has made his presence known. On the year, he is averaging 6.2 points, 2.3 rebounds, 1.2 assists, and 1.1 steals per game. Getting Reddish back with only a handful of games left on the schedule is key for the Lakers. His defensive abilities alone will be massive, especially in this game against the 76ers. Reddish can be put on guard Tyrese Maxey in the game, helping to limit his offensive chances. The 76ers will be without all-star center Joel Embiid, so Maxi will be the point of focus in the matchup. While Reddish hasn't been the greatest defensive producer this year, he has shown an ability to knock down three-point shots at different times. He is shooting 34.3% from deep and will give Los Angeles another weapon to use. Every game matters at this point in the season, with the Lakers fighting for their postseason lives. Having Reddish available against the 76ers will be a big addition to the lineup, and hopefully, it pans out with the team grabbing another win. Darvin Ham says D'Angelo Russell has a green room, not green light, to shoot for the Lakers. Since his rookie season as a Laker, D'Angelo Russell has been known for shooting well from three-point range. His offensive outbursts and his ice in the vein celebration became the stuff of legend. Upon his return to the purple and gold last year, the Lakers started doing a similar free celebration when they hit big three-point shots. This wasn't necessarily a homage, but introducing a similar celebration upon his return is likely not just a coincidence. On Monday against the Atlanta Hawks, Russell was as hot as ever from deep, converting on six three-pointers to help the Lakers comfortably beat Atlanta at home and jump back up to the ninth spot in the West, usurping the Golden State Warriors. He now has made 183 three-pointers on the season, tying Nick Van Exel for the single-season franchise record. Post-game head coach Darvin Ham talked about the freedom Russell has to shoot the ball and how it helps the Lakers be the best version of themselves. He has a green room, not a green light, green room, Ham said. When he's coming off of pick and roll and we're able to set a good screen at the right angle and teams know they're going to have to go over or we're running something for him to come off ball screen, they know they got to chase over it opens up everything in the pocket. Whether it's a quick dump off to a pocket dunk, pocket pass, hockey assist, or pocket pass to someone else on the other side for an open shot. So, just that ability to not only be aggressive, but be efficient at a high level from beyond the arc, it opens up a ton. Ham has praised Russell before, saying he's needed for ultimate success, but describing his light as so large it's actually a room paints a clear picture of just how much he trusts his starting guard. Russell was asked about the comment during his media availability. I appreciate him trusting me to that extent, Russell said. Definitely try to feel like I earned something like that, it wasn't given. To know that's something I put in the work to do and put the work in to continue to do, it seems normal for me, humbly. Russell's relationship with Ham has undoubtedly improved since last year's playoff run when he said he had no dialogue with his coach during his struggles and benching in the Western Conference Finals. Given how well he's played, it's good to see that relationship improve, and the trust has definitely been earned. It's a make-or-miss league and no one has made more three-pointers on this team than Russell. Once he makes another, he'll be the sole franchise leader in made three-pointers in Lakers history and given how rich that history is, that's something to commend and cherish. He'll have a chance of making that history next on Friday when the Lakers play the 76ers at home. 
Miami Heat legend says LeBron James is still the best player in the NBA, hands down. Miami Heat legend Udonis Haslam believes that Los Angeles Lakers superstar LeBron James is still the best player in the NBA. James, 39, is in his 21st season in the league, but he's still putting up impressive numbers for the Lakers, who are in the hunt for a playoff spot in the Western Conference. Everybody know who the best player in the world is, Haslam said regarding what the perception of James was like during the superstar's time with the Heat. And to me, he still is. I understand it's a lot of young, talent. This season, James is averaging 25.5 points, 7.2 rebounds, and 8.1 assists per game while shooting 53.2% from the field and 40.6% from beyond the arc. Those numbers are eerily similar to the last time the four-time champion won a league MVP award. That MVP award came when James was a member of the Heat during the 2012-13 campaign. That season, James averaged 26.8 points, 8.0 rebounds, and 7.3 assists per game while shooting 56.5% from the field and 40.6% from three-point range. He earned his fourth league MVP that season, but he shockingly hasn't won one since. Those numbers just show how consistent James has been despite playing into his late 30s. The fact that he's still able to put up similar numbers to when he was in his late 20s shows just how dominant he's been over the years. The best player in the world then, and still is today, is LeBron James, brother, hands down, Haslam said. This season, James became the first player in NBA history to reach 40,000 career points, and he broke Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's all-time scoring record during the 2022-23 season. A four-time NBA Finals MVP, James has played in 10 NBA Finals in his career, winning titles with three different franchises, Miami, Los Angeles, and the Cleveland Cavaliers. He also had an eight-season stretch where he made the NBA Finals in every campaign. If James, who led the Lakers to the Western Conference Finals last season, can capture another title, it's going to be hard to dispute his standing among players in the NBA, even at his current age. The Lakers currently hold the number 9 seed in the Western Conference, but they're hoping to close out the season strong to avoid the play-in tournament. Los Angeles would need to reach the number 6 spot in the West to make that happen. And you, fan, what do you think of the situation, Eudonis Haslin? Leave your opinion in the comments.